Hi, I'm Tony Poole. I live in northern Queen Anne's County, and over the next few days I will be interviewing a number of people who are involved in putting together Make a Difference Day here in Queen Anne's County. This event will be held on Monday, October 20th, and is based on a national model called Project Homeless Connect. In 2012, Baltimore City held a similar one-day event that drew nearly a thousand homeless and nearly homeless low-income men, women, and children. Each night, some 4,000 people in Baltimore are homeless, including hundreds of children. But what about our side of the bay? Is homelessness a problem here on the Eastern Shore? I've lived in Queen Anne's County most of my life, and I have to admit that until recently, I was not even aware that this problem existed outside of the big cities. Over the next couple of days, I hope that you and I can learn much more about the homeless problem here in Queen Anne's County and what we can all do to help eliminate it. With me today is Sandy Wiskett. Sandy is Director of Operations for Haven Ministries. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning to you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Haven Ministries? Haven Ministries has been operating the homeless shelter for six years. That was the first endeavor that we had. We are 501c3 and that we try to meet the needs of the homeless. But in doing this, we realized there's a lot more needs out there. So we were able to open up, have a transitional housing, which is a longer program to try to transition people out into the community. We also have a emergency food pantry, which is Food is a great need for people in this county that, to help them out. And we also have a thrift store that helps you know, sustain the other things we have, and that is our Daily Thread, which is located in Thompson Creek Road. As it is, we reach out and once a month with the Emergency Food Pantry, which is the third Saturday, and it starts at, from 9 to 11. And, and where specifically is that located? That is 931 Love Point Road. It is within Safe Harbor Presbyterian Church. They allow us a room in, in the back where we have the people come. It's huge, and we're able to get at least near 100 pe fam people come through to get donate, you know, food. And they represent like 200 people within those families. I was um, a little concerned when I read some of your statistics that in 2013, in the first six months, uh, you had served an average of 46 people, and in February of this year, uh, it was over 200 people that you served. I mean, are you seeing these greater numbers coming in? Yes, we are. At times, it has been that way, and uh, we've had up to almost 300 within those families that we've helped already. It, it, but it, we, at times, we might, the numbers go down, but they pick up, back up. And, and are, it's a great need. Are they mostly men or women? What, uh, what's it's, the demographics? There's not just one area. We, we have chill babies that we provide for children and, and adults. We also have seniors. And we have a lot of people with disabilities that come through. So we cover all, around, all over. It's not just one area that we have most of. And what type of products, uh, you know, are available to them? We have can canned foods, and we have uh, some. We have some produce. Sometimes we have uh, fruits and vegetables. We also have uh, chicken at, usually. And in the winter, when it's it's the season, we have donations from uh, from the farmers and hunters, which feed the hungry, provide uh, deer meat, and we have deer meat that we can give out. And there's just uh, vegetables and fruits and all of this. It's just amazing the amount of food that we have that's donated and all. That's wonderful. Uh, tell, how about paper products? I mean, uh, these homeless people, I'm sure they need toilet paper or paper right. towels or they anything do. like that. Uh, we do. And that anything like that, the paper towels and these uh, these type of products, uh, we uh, hygiene products and all, we give them out at our shelter and our transitional home. It's not uh, with our food pantry, but it's a need and we do disperse it. Oh, that's good, that's very good. How, how can the rest of us in the community get involved and help out? Well, we always need volunteers because it's a, it takes a lot of people that will help us with the setting it up and all that, and then helping the people. A lot of them need help to their cars with what they've gotten. And we uh, also need donations. And a lot of the different uh, organizations have food drives and that helps us greatly. And the different churches have food drives and bring food, and they donate food to also. 
So uh, all of these things are so important. And monetary donations for Haven Ministries help out with our shelter and our transitional home. We just, all of these, we are 501c3, so we rely on these donations. Oh, and sweet, and yeah. we have events that we try to raise funds to. Sandy, uh, I know you said that you're a coalition of a number of churches, but do any other organizations help out with your work? Oh, yes, they do. We have uh, a lot of Bible studies will come together and do things, and businesses will come in and do the dinners. And they, they just enjoy serving the people in need. We, the county commissioners come a night, and they, uh, their chili is, they're noted for great chili they make when uh -huh. they come. Uh -huh. And uh, they come and serve the meal there, too. And oh, it's wonderful. just a great treat to see all this, how people really come through their groups and in their, in their businesses and such. They give up a, a night and come in and help serve and prepare. It's just Very a good. great thing to do. Do you get any kind of grants? Uh, is there any money available from at the times, county or state to help at, you out? At times we do get grants, but uh, we we need it, all of it together what makes its function. You know. How about can you give us a, a phone number for anyone that uh, wants to donate, uh, whether it be food products or paper products or monetary products? Right. Well, my phone number is four one zero seven three nine seven eight five nine. And our executive director, whom is Krista Pettit, her phone number is 410-739-4363. you want to repeat those for our audience just so they have okay. a chance to get a pencil and write these down? It is 410-739-7859. That is my number. And then our other number is Krista Pettit's, which is 410-739-4363. And how about uh, the internet? Do you have any? Is there anything available on the internet as far as your organization and what you do and how people can get in touch? Oh yes, we have. It's haven-ministries.org, and everything is there. You can just click in. You can actually there's testimonies in there that you can see for people that we have helped, and their acknowledgement of that is just it's a great blessing to see. And how did the homeless people? find out about you? I mean, do they need to contact you or can they just show up or? They can. Our intake at our shelter, it's a winter shelter that operates December 1st until April the first or end of the first or second week, depending on the weather and the need. And uh, as it is, eventually we would, would want to be year round, but now it isn't. But the intake is between six and seven when we're open. And uh, they sometimes they just show up. A lot of times it's through the, uh, the, uh, services in the county this you know social services and different ones the churches the ch we have a, we're a coalition of churches that work together with this and that's how we get known too that they call well that's wonderful um I, th I don't have any other questions for you right now but do you have anything you want to uh, say to our audience yes they we in everything that we do there's a great need for volunteers and and we always need donations so we have volunteers needed at our thrift shop our daily thread and that is important because that's a great we're outreach that we have and there are people that social services directs to us that, that might need some clothing we do give clothing there out if they need them but also too with when we have the shelter we rely on volunteers so greatly there and it's just in all the areas we just need you know volunteers and to fundraise you know and then to for the donations of food it's so important this is a great need that we need out there to help people in need. Now, how, how will your organization um, work with the, uh, the program that's being set up for October? Will you be part of that? Oh, uh, yeah. Very much so. Okay, yeah. very good. And it's, so, it's important to make people aware that this is just a, a need that we need to really try to fix and help provide for. Well, I know, as I said, I was really not aware that there was a homeless issue in Queen Anne County, but I'm certainly learning very quickly that there is a tremendous need. Yes. And Sandy, thank you so much for coming in today. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to be here.